its form and function, its being able to integrate things like music and art and engineering and the sciences. You have this very technical side, traditional engineering that's based on math, math the sciences, and you're bringing that together. Really at the intersection of, of both analysis as well as creativity. In between those two things is where the sweet spot for whole brain thinking is. We're really looking to create engineers that can think in a new way to be able to address problems that are the, at the crux of the world's problems today. Dina Tino is an accomplished painter uh, as well as a, a truly remarkable scientist and researcher. It was easy to see how this came out of him as uh, a, a vision for what should be guiding us in the business of engineering education. Gordon Bryce is a huge deal. This is confirmation that the culture change that Dina Tino invested in was well worth it. The whole brain thinking at every scale and at every level has created a culture here at McCormick that is not only effective but also is spreading. He's galvanized this experience in, in many people, and it's taken off. All the students, all of the, the faculty uh, that have come in recent years have embraced it and then just amplified it. Well, the core element is all the analytical thinking, logical, sequential, quantitative, rational. Left brain skills for an engineer, they're not negotiable. Kind of have a toolkit and you're figuring out how do I use these tools to solve this problem. The best ideas in the future will require thinking that cannot be handled by just one side or the other one. Combining both the creative and analytical parts, understanding the human side of it, and bringing those together. Design, by its nature, connects you with people. We think of it as a process. I think it definitely just starts with listening talking with the user and understanding really what their needs are. You really have to put yourself in the shoes of the user. You want people who can ask the right kind of questions. You don't frame the problem correctly, you could be solving the wrong thing entirely. To craft ideas, to build prototypes, to put them back in the field, and to learn. Iteration is fundamental to learning. You're gonna fail and then you're gonna learn from it. If you look out at some of the great entrepreneurs in, in this country, in this world, they have engineering backgrounds. Entrepreneurship started on the engineering side and it has been embraced by many other academic areas. There's a certain audacity that goes along with deciding to build a new business, to create something new, to figure you have something to offer that's better than anything else out there. Leadership is a significant component of these. It's crucial to be able to uh, motivate people around you to buy into that vision. I don't see how you can pursue entrepreneurial activities without uh, being a leader. In order for students to be whole brain, you really need to understand who you are, how to manage yourself effectively, that type of skill that really is gonna be essential for leadership. It's not all about design, it's not all about entrepreneurship, it's about how you bring those things together in a whole-brained way. Whole-brain thinking isn't really restricted to engineers. We want to somehow this permeate everywhere. Engineers don't necessarily have all of the answers. One of the hallmarks, if not the hallmark of Northwestern, is the interdisciplinary connections that exist. What you end up having is a whole brain organization. To create and innovate at the intersections of fields. I can work with a biologist, I can work with a sociologist, I can work with an economist. I want to do theater and engineering. The world demands these kinds of thinking. When we are desperate for new ideas that enable a better life, whole brain engineering helps deliver on that. I see what comes out of our students, their creativity, their willingness to tackle amazingly complicated, challenging problems, their commitment to make a difference in the world. You give people a lit match and they bring a forest fire.